weather. And here's Natasha. Even though the rain has gone, Jeff and Natasha, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that the problems aren't going to persist in our area, right? Yeah, and I know it's sort of counterintuitive. It's like, but the rain's done. Why do we conti continue to watch these rivers rise? And it's because it takes some time for that water to work through those watersheds and out to the basins. So we will likely continue to see watching flooding take place at some of our local rivers even through tomorrow. And tomorrow is going to be another dry day. This river uh, video comes to us from John Starlight. This is South Yamhill River in Sheridan. Look at how close that water is to those houses out there in the distance. Um, at the closest monitoring point, uh, South Yamhill River is currently at 47 feet. So it's at the high end of the action stage right now. It is forecast to reach 50 feet by early tomorrow morning, about 4 o'clock in the morning. At that point, it will be entering the minor flood stage. But it's incredible to look at this and you just see how close those houses are to the river right there. Um, I think if you certainly live next to a river, you're well aware of this and you're paying attention. But again, tomorrow morning, we could see some of these rivers actually crest even after the rain has stopped. Here's a quick look at our local river conditions so far. The good news is we're seeing a lot of those rivers recede out of the major flooding stage and now down into the minor flooding stage. Here's a short list of some of those rivers, Mary's River, Wilson River, and the Halem River and Tualatin River, all in that minor flooding stage expected to recede by late tomorrow. This is what we saw here at PDX, 1.94 inches of rain just from yesterday. And then adding to those records, we also tied a record for our daytime high at 61 degrees, the old record that was in 1991. So where does that put us month to date? 5.45 inches of rain. So now we are at the fourth wettest start to January on record. Okay, let's go up to the mountains, Mount Hood Meadows. We are seeing colder temperatures finally make a comeback. 26 degrees right now. That's some good news. We, want, we don't want to watch any more melting snow, so we're going to stay nice and cool for us in our mountain areas. Some fluctuations in our temperatures, though. So right around that 4,000 foot mark, that's where we expect to be as we get to Friday. That'll be Friday afternoon. At that time, we will have some light precipitation falling. It means rain for the valley. Mountain areas, some light accumulations for snow on Friday. That's going to be a very weak system coming through, so we're not expecting any big impacts as a result. It's dry tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, some fog developing, especially south of Portland. Now, as we look at Friday, this is 2 o'clock in the morning. It moves out very quickly, not delivering a whole lot in terms of rain. Next chance of rain would be on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we get a nice break, and then we get to Wednesday, still dry. Thursday is the next system that we'll be monitoring closely. And this is next Thursday, not this Thursday. Next Thursday, 20, the 21st, we could have significantly colder temperatures moving into the picture. Rainfall totals for Friday, a little bit more than a tenth of an inch for the valley, close to about three to four tenths of an inch for you at the coast. Offshore flow develops for us tomorrow morning, lasting through tomorrow afternoon. Winds out of the east could gust upwards of 30 miles per hour. This is right here in Portland. Seven day forecast. A few more breaks from the rain. Next chance of rain that would be on Sunday. Notice those overnight temperatures though, going down into the mid 30s next Tuesday and Wednesday.